What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today is the day when it comes to the van. We are going to install the white body kit on it. Alright guys, this is the body kit which we already shown a few times. Uh, but today is the day that we get to put it on the car. This one fits pretty damn good. I don't think this body kit was made for the van that was that had a sliding door like that one. So when this thing slides, it already hits here all the way down to here, uh, which is a huge problem. And the door stops all the way here. This all clears, but when it comes to this portion and down, it hits, uh, it's, it's gonna smash, it's gonna hit really bad. So two options, so we either don't run this or we just modify this so that can slide. So we got two silver toppers, one here, one here. Now, if you guys can see, this is from shipping what happens after it's been molded and made. Because the shipping, it gets crimped down. Essentially, we're gonna do the opposite, right? We're gonna heat up this whole area and start folding it back until this line starts matching with this line. With the heat gun, it'll, it'll fold right back where it needs to go. All right, well, that was pretty easy. So Ricky grabbed a second heat gun, but we only heated it up for probably two to three minutes and the thing went right into shape. So, um, so a little bit of heat goes a long way with fiberglass. A lot of times you can just let this stuff sit out in the sun and it'll mm -hmm. actually help. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any sun today. So we're gonna use uh, self tappers to walk this into place and then we'll use proper hardware when we do final assembly. Check this out! Look at those gaps! Ah. What gaps in this thing? Japanese car body kit manufacturers, take note. This is how it's supposed to be done. All right, so Mickey's gonna open the door right now and we're gonna see. Oh, that's a problem. Ripperino. Can't open the door, bro. So we gotta get this past this. We obviously wanna keep this flange, right? Mm-hmm. Because it matches the rest of the fenders. So in order to get this past this, we probably need to do some sort of pie section. And then bring that in. Remove. Right. And I don't think that really affects the lines of the kit either. So what we can do is cut that section out. You and I will push that in. Mm-hmm. Use a piece of this in the back and just put two screws to hold it, right? Just to see what it looks and like. Then we can fiberglass yeah. it, pull the screws out, fill the holes. Watch Mickey work his magic. A few moments later. Mr. Picasso hey, here. Hey. Anyways, anything in black, we're cutting off.
so I just made a template for the back of it, um, as you guys can see. And what I'm gonna do next, uh, I'm probably gonna end up taping it back there, that way it doesn't move. I'll probably keep trimming this so it can be straight, and then fiberglass all this over. But for that, I need to tape all this first and protect the paint. Not like it matters because it's going to the body shop after, but less messy. So there you have it. I just finished putting uh, fiberglass and fiberglass dressing in the big open hole we had there. And the reason why the hole got bigger is because um, this edge was actually facing this way while our, uh, our groove was going this way. So I ended up grabbing the, uh, the sand disc and I just tried to level as much as I could. And that's what ended up happening. I just made the hole a lot bigger, but it's no big deal. Put fiberglass there. And then once it dries tomorrow, I'm gonna add more layers of fiberglass. Um, and then once it's about even, then I'll start sanding down and then using a body filler mixed with fiberglass hairs in it. What we'll do is we'll just move it out, sand it, and then uh, put primer on it. And you would even be able to tell the difference and then we'll, we'll make this shape happen again, right here. Uh, we'll flatten this out. And then it'll be like nothing ever happened except that it's a uh, lot thinner now and our door will be able to open. We still have to modify the door. So what we're doing to the door is, come on, you got on But this bottom part of the door, uh, we're gonna have to cut here, all the way down, all the way to the skin of the door, probably all the way to here. And then we'll just make, uh, we'll just fold it in and re-weld it again. I don't know what the heck's up with San Diego weather, but it's about to rain really hard. And our poor Suvi, there's no way I'm gonna let it go wet. I just detailed the crap out of it yesterday. I even waxed it and all, and I'm not gonna let it go wet. So, vent's coming out. I'm mostly running out of time anyway, so. I'm gonna take the tape off, because I don't want the fiberglass drying over the tape, which probably is already. I'm gonna take the tape off, I'm gonna put this thing outside, and I'm gonna put the Suvi inside. This thing already dry. Good enough, that way it can take water and it's not gonna damage it. And then tomorrow when I come in, uh, I'm gonna keep working on that. And once, start, once I start putting uh, either more fiberglass or more uh, body filler, and while that dries, I'm gonna start working on the rest of the kit. So see you guys in the morning. Welcome back, boys and girls. We're back, baby! This thing is looking rough right now. <laughs> yeah, really rough. But really sturdy yeah so you did a nice job reinforcing it uh, I started pulling out some of your backing paper that you had in here to, to hold it while it dried Ricky's gonna work on smoothing this out and making it look pretty and I'm gonna work on getting this inner door skin cut out so that when the door slides open uh, we have some extra clearance so we're not hitting this you know what I realized yesterday bro that we have to cut a lot of that down. yeah it's about to here as you can see, the, the door has an inner door skin here. And so Ricky's already marked it with a marker here. I'm gonna take the body saw and basically just leave a very small edge on here, cut across with a radius. And then we're gonna take this whole panel out, basically, so that when the door slides open, it we, clears. we have the clear things. You can see it contacts now. So um, that's actually not a big deal. That inner skin is just basically the inner structure of the door. We can cut it out and see if the door becomes flimsy. If it does, we'll add some material back in. But uh, I don't think it's going to. We may just put a strap in there. And that's how far back the door opens. It goes yeah, all goes. the way to the so end. So we can take a measurement basically from here <laughs> right. to there. Exactly. And then transfer that measurement to here.
problem here, boys. All right, so right now, if you guys can see the fiberglass lip is actually touching the bumper frame. This lip is for an earlier generation of this van. The vans are all very similar, but they must be a little bit different in this area because this lip is too tall in the center. Tall. So we have to remove that section to get it to sit up where we want it to sit. And we're also trying to decide whether we want to run with the steel front bumper or run without the front bumper. I vote for no bumper. I go for no bumper. Bumper, for sure. So we're two to so one, no bumper. Let's see what you guys have to say in the comments. All right, while Ricky's fitting up the driver's side rear over fender, I'm gonna go ahead and get this door cut so that we have the clearance we need. You can see where it's hitting there. Uh, I have gone ahead, I'm gonna go inside the van here. Mark the door. This is basically the section I need to cut out. So I'm gonna go to the inside of this line and then down to there. And I need to go just about a quarter inch further this way. Um, I just traced the over fender, so I need to make a little more clearance. So we'll go there. Uh, as far as tools, I'm going to drill a hole with a unibit from uh, Metro Electronics or Klein Tools. Um, we picked that up recently. Seems to be a nice little bit. And I uh, also got our body saw that we'll use to cut this once we have the hole drilled. So I'm going to go ahead and get cutting. Alright guys, it is the next day. Unfortunately, last night we ran out of gas and we got new gas. Today, well right now, we are going to finish welding. So right now I just got done welding this section and the uh, bottom section as well. Uh, next thing I'm gonna start grinding down all the excessive metal that's showing. Like if you guys see down there. I'm gonna be grinding all that off. trimmed out I'm gonna uh, tape it and put some seam sealer on it so that what we know is completely sealed and before that I'm just gonna clean it with a uh, glass cleaner all right guys the van's all cleaned up and by me and van I mean just the glass uh -huh. that's it it's all clean you look busy bro I'm on break. <laughs> you can actually see through the glass yeah, uh, next time you see me in this van, we'll be driving to the body shop. So I'll see you in a few. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It is the next day, and today we are taking the van uh, to the body shop. So. Alright guys, so we over here at the body shop and this is going to be something very, very basic. This is not going to be a show quality paint job obviously because we, it's going to get wrapped, right? So this right here, we told them to just fix that as best as they can. We told them to cover these holes, all the little holes on top. We have them cover it. They're going to remove all the uh, reflectors and the grills off. They're going to cover that one. They're obviously going to scrape this off. 
they're gonna fix this dent that's right here they're gonna I was gonna sand that down but I was like no need because it's going to the body shop anyway so they're gonna sand that down I think that's it and yeah all those little holes on top is gonna be fixed and then we'll pick it up in a few days and from there we'll drop it off at premium with Daniel and we'll see what happens from that point I guess once Daniel's done with it, we'll start putting all the grills and stuff back on with the new lights, headlights, tail lights, and all that stuff. And then we'll start working on the suspension. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next time.